If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon to get the latest updates. Welcome to Zarin Tech this overview of the Workday Studio Web Service Tester. In this video, we'll look at how the tester can be used to explore Workday web services, review request and response messages, and send test requests. Before we dive in, please note the disclaimer that this video is for informational purposes only. Be sure to comply with copyright laws and provide credits for any images used. The agenda for today's presentation is a high-level look at the Workday Studio Web Service Tester. The Schema Explorer integrates with the Workday Web Services API by providing direct access to WSDL and schema documents. This allows you to explore operations, messages, and data type definitions. The Schema Explorer displays this information in a read-only outline view. Here's an example of the Schema Explorer in the Workday Studio perspective. It's located along the top right by default but can be rearranged. If you don't see it, you can open the Schema Explorer from the window menu. The screenshot shows the Workday functionality and then the window to show view tab to move into the particular function. To view available web services, click the W icon and select which services you want to explore in more detail. Once you add a web service, you can expand it to see a list of available operations. Note that Workday Studio patches may not always match the latest Workday application patches. To call the newest API version in your tenant, select Add Latest Workday Web Services. The screenshot shows the Schema Explorer tag with their functionalities. There are many ways to use the Schema Explorer to learn about web services. For each operation, you can review the request and response messages. You can also filter operations using keywords. The screenshot shows the sample screen of Schema Explorer. To generate a test message, right-click an operation name and select the Workday Web Service Builder wizard. This will walk you through creating a request. Based on the operation, you'll be prompted with questions to build the request. The wizard then opens the web service tester with the generated request. In the web service tester, you can send the request to Workday and view the response. This is useful for testing and learning the APIs. For example, you can use the API documentation to understand response groups for an operation. Thank you for listening to this overview of the Workday Studio Web Service Tester. Please subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. Thank you for attending the session. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also feel free to ask your questions in the comment section below and we will reply to them at the earliest.